I'm taking a little breather. I'm just laying down for a minute after being at the computer for most of the day, trying to wrap up emails. Yeah, wrap up is hysterical. Like I have 2,000 in my inbox. It, I mean, I've read them all, but you know, when you have to manage them, sort them, figure them out. Had a couple meetings and um, I'm just tired and I need to have my energy. So tomorrow's dosing and I'm definitely taking decks. So I will have some energy tomorrow and Friday and maybe I'll dex out on Friday and just get everything done on Friday. So I got, um, it's kitty nap time. Kitty nap time on the bed and I am laying on the coolest blanket. So this blanket behind me, which I'll show you, was my great grandmother Wallace's. So my grandmother's grandmother's blanket and my cute cousin Jordan, who lives on Catalina, he sent it to me yesterday and just said, I'm sending you the love and strength of our, the Juanita women, the Wallace women. My grandma's name was Juanita. And that I, I can, um, that I'm gonna use this and have this in my life um, until I'm done with this round. So it is, I wish I had a date on how old it is, but I remember this from my childhood um, because my Nana would put this on her when she would lay in Newport and uh, it is super, super cute, hand stitched. This, none of this is by a uh, sewing machine and it's just major nostalgic, made my day. Just very, very thoughtful gift. So I love it, Jordan. And there's Orion doing work in the background. We'll both try to get you done, take names. All right, so that's that's my update for today. I feel just kind of tired, but I'm trying to get stuff done. My list, my long list of to-dos before June 15th. I can't speak. Anyway. Okay, and well, now you're sitting on our hammock that is uh, probably at, at its maximum weight capac capacity, thanks to mommy. Um, Maggie's actually 12, going on 18, so. No, I'm not. <laughs> sure feels like it. We just checked on the fairy garden, did a little watering. Added a couple little things. Um, what does he add? A lot. We added two gnomes, a snail, uh, an owl with a snail on its head, and a bird. And a little pink flower. All compliments of Amber. our neighbor Amber. Thank you, Amber. No. We inspired her to make her own fairy garden. Yeah. Now we're just obsessed with buying miniature little things for our fairy garden. Um, it's really, really addicting to go on Etsy and find miniature things. And you're like, oh my gosh, that's the cutest <laughs> little sandcastle ever. And a little garden. And Maggie just got a little, her little frog pond. We're going to look into some waterfalls. Um... Uh, for mine. Yeah. What else do you want in yours? That's a beautiful face. Maggie's the best at faces. I am. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is my sensor warning before I show you the clip of a fantastic gift that my friend Christy gave me um, because she knows me so well and I could use a good laugh and I love Chris O'Dell. So there is some bad language. So just letting you know, if you want push, stop now. If you want a good laugh, push, keep going. Jessica, how are you? This is a little message from Christy and True, your dear old friends who are thinking of you. I hear that you've got your second bout of cancer treatment and you're feeling crap this week. I'm so sorry, Jessica. What a fucking pain. What a stupid disease. What a fucking annoying pain in the arse that 
that you really don't deserve. And here we are, nonetheless, you're dealing with it. You're going to get through it. Fuck it all. You can do it. There is a time in your life where you will look back at this. I know that you're a nurse and you're a mother. And I can imagine that it is tough going right now. Cancer treatment. I've had a lot of people go through it and it's tough going. You're powerful. You're strong. I believe in you. We love you so much. You're doing brilliantly. This time next year, Jessica, just fucking... You got this. You're so loved. Be well. Okay, so if you just watched that, that was awesome. Personal message to me. I, um, I do kind of have a potty mouth. Sorry if everyone had better images of me, but sometimes it's just the best way to describe how I'm feeling. Obviously, I don't do it around small children or my place of work. But, um, yeah, uh, that was so, that was just good. I, um, my friends and family seem to know me pretty well about what I love and what makes me laugh. And everyone's just so thoughtful, so thoughtful. Thank you, Christy. Mwah. I'm going to watch that all the time. Every day that I'm in the hospital at Huntsman. Um, so... Today was good. I had bigger expectations to try to like uh, my uh, to do, you know, everything I need to do for work. And it's just, it's hard when I start to realize it's not going to happen by Friday afternoon. And what do I absolutely have to do and what can I pass off? And it's very hard for me to pass off um, things and tell other people to do and help with my job because I want to do it and um, sorry I still have a teenager well she's 12 she's not even a teenager that uh, still isn't asleep and it's 1130 we're on a bad schedule here anyway can't even remember what I was saying um, I think awesome thoughtful gifts and uh, I, I didn't feel amazing today, which I just, for some reason, keep thinking I'm going to feel better because I haven't taken oral chemo. And I'm like, I'm just, I've just got to feel better before the stem cell. And um, I'm just kind of really tired and did the best I could. So um, I dose again tomorrow, last chemo dose before the stem cell transplant and yeah now the dosing is just like that's the easy part yeah so um i'm gonna call it a night so i'll probably feel really good right before i dose and then dose and i'm definitely taking dex with my dose yeah that's happening okay night thank you christy